We're stood in Oddfellows Hall, which is a Grade II listed building that we've sensitively restored and extended. It's part of the MECD project, the Manchester Engineering Campus Development Project for the University of Manchester. We've sensitively restored lots of the heritage features, so we've replaced and repaired the stained glass windows, we've done some repairs to the cornicing and featured tiles, and we've cleaned down the facade and we've installed a new copper cupola back to its original glory on the roof. We have come across several instances where we're making quite significant structural alterations to the building. Um, and as we begin works or we uncover things to investigate so that we can begin the works, we find things that aren't quite as, as expected. So it's quite a challenge to react quickly and to be able to get engineers back in and consider how we're going to do works to be able to, to make these significant alterations in a building that's a little bit unpredictable when you, when you start uncovering things. A challenge that we faced on the upper floors is one of the petitions that we were due to take down um, when we started taking that down to make a big conference room, we realised the existing beam at the head of the head of the wall wasn't in a very good condition at all. So we had to um, underpin that and had to put a new beam straight through underneath, um, and that meant changing the load path of that particular wall all the way down through the building. Um, so that took quite a long time to sort out, get the engineer approval, follow it all through with the conservation architects, um, and, and to make that all happen was quite a big challenge. A second challenge we faced was we have a, a, a large original roof light right in the middle of the project. It's an old wrought iron roof light frame. Um, we couldn't find any way that we could glaze it to modern thermal standards that we have to do for the building. So to make that feature stay um, to the satisfaction of the conservation officer, we had to clean it up and keep it, but deglaze it and then add a entirely new roof light above with modern glass to modern specs. So these are just two examples of, of things we've come across on the project, um, but having those relationships with the design team, with the heritage architect, the, the specialist, the conservation officer, and our own personal expertise as a company allows us to deal with these issues as they, as they arise and deal with them efficiently and quickly. Refurbishing this historic building is, is giving the university back something that they've had before, but now with modern standards, with fresh new finishes and, and facilities for conferencing and, and various other things for, for the future.